Here is a money and banking question from summer 2014, B4. My bank is the only bank in the economy, which is important, when the general public holds no cash. The reserve requirement is 10%, and new cash in the amount of €10,000 enters the economy and is deposited with my bank, which is the only bank in Euroland. Transcribe and complete the following table. So I have the table down here, so we need to complete it. So we know the reserve uh, requirement is 10%. So 10% of 1,000 is one. Sorry, 10% of 10,000 euros is 1,000, and the remainder is lent out in loans. So new deposits of 10,000 euros enters the economy, and if the reserve ratio is 10%, 10% of 10,000 is 1,000, and the remainder is lent out in loans of 9,000, and that is your starting point of stage two. 10% of that stays in the bank and the remainder is lent out and that's the starting point for stage 3. Again 10% stays in the bank, the remainder is lent out. 10% stays in the bank of 729 and the remainder is lent out in loans. You can continue this process with the concept etc highlighted here. Um, but we're only required to complete four stages of this question. The next thing we need to do is work out the totals. And in order to work out the totals column, we need to work out the deposit multiplier. And deposit multiplier is 1 divided by your triple R. And your triple R is your required reserve ratio. So 1 divided by 0 0.1, and that gives us a deposit multiplier of 10. You multiply your deposit multiplier by your initial deposit of 10,000 euros, and that gives us 100,000 euros. And that is the total of the new deposit column. We know 10% of that stays in the bank as reserve, so 10% of 100,000 is 10,000. And the remainder is lent out in the form of new loans, which gives us our total for our new loans column. And that completes part A. Part B, when the process of new bank credit creation has been completed, by how much will the money supply have increased as a result of the new cash? Money supply will have increased by the total of the new deposits column, and in this case it's €100,000. And that €100,000 includes reserves of 10000 and new loans of 90000 Part C, set out the final row of the table above in balance sheet format. Balance sheet format, assets are on the left, liabilities are on the right. In terms of a bank's assets, a bank owns its loan book and it also owns the reserves that sits in a bank's vault. However, a bank owes its customers' deposits or savings. Now, from the final row, we know that our new deposits equal at that 100,000 euros, reserves total 10,000 euros, and new loans total 90,000 euros. So we slot in the figures accordingly. So loans come in at 90,000 euros. Dep our reserves come in at 10,000 euros. The total of the savings column is 100,000 euros. And total up both columns. And both columns should give you the same total and in this case it's 100,000 euros. Part D finally, assume the reserve requirement changes from 10 to 20 percent, present the revised balance sheet of my bank when it's fully adjusted to this change. I'm just going to talk you through how you will complete this part D. The first thing you need to do is work out the new deposit multiplier based on this 20 percent IOR and that should give you a deposit multiplier of 5. You can use the formula I used in part A to calculate this. Our new balance sheet, in order to work out the new balance sheet, we need new totals. So we need to work out the new totals based on the 20% triple R. We don't need to complete the whole table, we just need to complete the totals. Once you have the, table, the totals completed, you can sub them in to the asset liability profile as we did in part C.